Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, oh, I'm pretty tired. I've been working on that four wheeler. Got it running. But um, this video is about the four wheeler. It's actually timing the four wheeler. I just wanted to make a little video on how to time the four wheeler. Um, if you hear me uh, sniffling a lot, yesterday is when I recorded this, and my I had really bad allergy attack yesterday. So I'm out there working on it, sneezing my head off, and it's not been great. It has been rough, but um, it runs. I can drive it, not very far. It has a tendency to die. Battery's dead on it. Still got to get some new tires, and definitely got to get some brakes for it. The back brakes are wore out, and the master cylinder on it it doesn't even work. So I got to get new brakes, but. I did test it it does run and it does move and it does go in reverse so I mean what more can you ask for but um, let's continue on with the video remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new if you like the tutorials hit that like button and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye all right welcome back to the four-wheeler update Using the old Bauer drill, we have a 730 seconds drill bit onto there. And over here is the carburetor. You can see if it'll focus. And there's the, uh, this right here is the throttle cable. It is now ran into there like it's supposed to be, so my throttle don't sit all the way up in the top. Stay tuned for more. Okay, next up on the, you need to take your crank off. It's this piece right here. That's your pull cord. That's the part you'll take off of this, which is on the side of the motor. So that way you can turn this. You can do some uh, free turning here. Oh god dang. There we go. We'll be able to spin it. But it's a little bit of toughness. I mean, most people stick a stick a socket on there and spin it that way. I just spin it with my hands. Our main go is uh, this bolt right here. This bolt come off of right here. You got to take this bolt out on your crankshaft. Take it out. But what we got to do is, uh, you see that down that hole? See it, baby, spinning, right? What we're looking for is a T. So we gotta go nice and slow. So as I'm spinning this nice and slow, we'll find a T here in a minute. And we will line that T. It's not it. Don't think there's that. Is that the T? I don't know. It looked like it. Or a line, anyway. I swear there's a T on this baby once. Oh, I think I passed it up when I spin again. <laughs> spin the wind, baby. Oh, that wasn't it. There's the holes. Yeah, I know when I passed it up. All right, nice and easy spin. Takes a minute. There we go, get your focus on there for me. See, I think, I thought that was the T once, but I don't think that's the T. See, there's the T. Oh, shoot. No, no. I lost it. You're not supposed to back it up like that. See, I think, and that's almost lined up. All right, next up, once you get that where you need it set, hopefully it's set. We'll find out in a little bit. <laughs> We're going to come up to the top here, and we got to take off that top cap, and there's one on the bottom here. Yeah, right there she is. We've got to take those off there. Got the carburetor rigged up, drilled this out like I wanted to. Put the throttle cable in there. As you can see, if you can see it, the throttle cable is now hooked up where it needs to be down in there. So when I push the throttle, whoa, we get juice. All right, for the next part. You need a 17 millimeter wrench or a socket if you got your motor off, which I don't. Oh, you dirty son of a bitch. It's a lot harder to do one in it. Oh, fuck. Once you get it, uh, get it loosened after I broke my hand. 
Take twist that bad boy off there. That's your valves. <coughs> so you need a socket. Well, it's best to have an offset wrench to fit it. I do not have one, so I have to go with what I got. Let's see if it's 516 to fit it. I can't remember. Damn these wires. Oh, one foot. All right. This will fit. I can get my hand in there. Yeah, that'll fit. All right, so it's a 10. It's a size 10. Yeah, 10 millimeter. All right, so your main goal is, uh, well, it's hard to keep steady and look at this at the same time. There's your valves there. Let's see if I can fit this over top of it. All right, this it's on there. We'll loosen it up. All right, so the next thing you're going to need is one of these bad boys here. This jiggly bitch, that, quit jiggling, is a, is a filler gauge. You have what's your intake side and your exhaust side. Your intake side is this one at the top. Your, your, well, you can see it. This is your intake. Your exhaust is on the bottom. Your intake's the one that's up closest to the air filter. And your exhaust is the one that's closest to, well, the exhaust. But your main goal is to take this filler gauge and right down inside of here I can get close up to see it I can't get in there no wires here oh well, you can barely see it but you see that silver piece on the very bottom down there if it'll focus yeah down in there there is a uh, a silver piece if it'll focus all right god damn it quit unfocusing you piece of shit Right in there is a, uh, you have to go up underneath that. Your filler gauge is going to go under it. You're going to twist this thing right here back and forth. You know, back and fuck. Wish it quit focusing. I'm about to turn autofocus off, so I'm nuts. But you're going to spin that around and you need to make sure that it fits that filler gauge. Which intake side is one, uh, uh, either 0 .002 or point or 0 0.05 millimeters and the exhaust side is uh, I think 004 so you need to go in between 1 to 3 or foot and it for exhaust is 4 to or 3 to 5 I do believe We'll do that right quick. Okay, right, this one's done. This one got set. Yeah, I'm, I busted my knuckle. If, you, if we can see it, it's very hard to see. Very can't see it. The light's blinding it. That's at this one right here is point three. What I set this one at was right here, which is, this one is a point or a zero zero two which is in between one and three. And that was on the intake side, which I'm done with now, hopefully. I don't know, setting these things with the motor in, it's very, very challenging. And the fact that I ain't got an offset wrench. So now I'm gonna move down to the uh, exhaust side. Pop that one off right quick. Let's see here. This way. There you go. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ah, there we go. Those on our tough. Should be loose enough now. Yeah, we're about to see some oil. See oil spill. Oh boy. That's fresh oil too. Every time you do this, you're gonna lose oil. Oh, this is a lot harder for me. Alrighty, let's see where you are, where you are, where you are, there he is, there's the exhaust one, there, folks, yeah, that's the exhaust side, ah, look at that drippage, okay, loosen that up, that's awfully loose, isn't it, this would be that loose, alright, I'm gonna do that one right quick, 
Ooh, I'm gonna have to edit this a lot. It took me 25 minutes. I have to definitely edit that and time it down, shorten it a little bit. But got this side done, exhaust is done, intake is done. Hopefully it's set right. I have a lot of trouble setting it considering I am uh, it's still in the frame, you know, I haven't taken it apart yet. Or I ain't taking the motor out. Alright, the next thing I gotta do is I gotta hook up my hoses and re put my cap on back down there for the crankshaft and then we will go with um, see if she'll start. And it ain't backfiring bad at all now. It's just smoking. I like it. I can't take it back apart either. Oh, that's hell now. <laughs> 